everybody doing thanks for joining me welcome back so today I have a different kind of video for you it is a tag video and as well it is a collab so it's a collab and tag video it's called I love drugstore makeup reboot and I'm collabing with the two real chicks Carla and Cindy so if you guys would like to stick around and see what it's all about keep on watching Okay, so first of all, um, I wanted to tell you guys to go and check out the two real chicks, Carla and Cindy. I will have a link to their video down below of the tag, but you have to watch these two. I have been watching them for probably several months now, and honestly, them two have a great chemistry together, and they're, they're a hoot. I really enjoy watching them, and so go and check them two out. You will not be disappointed. Show them some love, subscribe, and like I said, I'll have their video of the tag down below. I'm sure a majority, not everybody, but a majority of people have seen the I Love Drugstore makeup tag. And I've been on YouTube for quite some time. Maybe some of you guys don't know that, but I have been on YouTube for quite a while now. Like, I will put a link down below to that video that I did of the I uh, Heart or Love Drugstore makeup tag. The video quality is nowhere near what I have now. I mean, I still need to step up my game on video quality in, in a lot of ways, but it's totally better than what it used to be. That's probably been about five years ago, and that's when it kind of surfaced. I'm not really sure exactly who created the uh, tag. If I can find out the original person that really started the whole thing, I will put a link down below to their video and you can go and check it out. So, because I want to give them credit, you know, obviously, but it just serviced and then everybody was doing it. Everybody. So I thought, you know, I've been wanting to do for a while now and it's been several months. I kept thinking about it. Uh, a reboot, like have the I love drugstore makeup tag, but reboot it and have different questions because the drugstore makeup community has really, has really stepped up their game. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of changes and, and they've been really improving uh, along with their prices going up though on top of it all, but they are improving. I seen Carla, uh, from the two real chicks she was mentioning about maybe getting together and collabing with different people and she was tagging some of our names and I thought you know this will be a perfect opportunity. I, I like doing collabs because it's helping one another in some sense you know like just you know supporting one another helping one another and you know that means a lot to me you know when you're helping and supporting one another I think that's important. That I had a few questions like three or four questions and I wanted to make it up to ten. And I said to her, I said, Carla, I said, you know, what do you think? So she helped me and I have to give her credit. She helped me along the way in a lot of the questions too. But let's get started in the questions. And if anybody wants to do this tag, uh, feel welcome to do it. I think it'll be fun, you know, starting to spread it out again. Because like I said, a lot has changed in the years. The first question is, which brand do you think stepped up their game? So which brand do you think um, stepped up their game? Honestly, it was a little bit hard for me to think on that one. <laughs> that was one of the questions that I came up with myself because I was thinking, which one really has stepped up their game? I think a lot of them have. No question on that, really. A lot has. But the one that popped in my head is Wet n Wild. I really like the eyeshadow primer, the Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. It is a lot comparable to the Lorac uh, eyeshadow primer. It's a really great eye primer. Uh, it holds up the eyeshadows great, and I just I really always loved it. Another product of theirs is their uh, contouring, their highlight contouring um, set that they have out a lot compared to Marc Jacobs. I don't really have that, uh, so I can't say, but it's something that I hear quite often. I think it's beautiful. Uh, I really liked the original. Do you think they tweaked uh, and changed a little bit of the ingredients or the way they did it? But you know, this is a really good one being a highlight. Uh, the Wet n Wild highlighter powder 
the Mega Glows. I mean, these were hard for them to even keep in stock. This one's the Precious Petals, which is the most popular in the whole thing. They're liquid, new liquid lipsticks that they have out. These ones here, I'm really liking them. I'm not always a person that likes the liquid lipsticks that kind of dry up matte, but these I really do like. They're blushes, the formula. You know, uh, another one, actually, not everybody. It has mixed reviews because a lot of people don't like the scent that comes from it. But this is a really great foundation, the Photo Focus Foundation. I really like it. I think it's a really nice one. Okay, so your uh, favorite new products. Pick three new products that are new into the drugstore that are your favorite. And I actually just showed two of them, but I'm going to show this here. It's the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I really like this, guys, and that's surprising to say for me for CoverGirl because I was never a CoverGirl foundation person. Yeah, like this here. I am loving this foundation. I think it gives a full, a full coverage, great coverage. Uh, I just, I really like this one. And the other favorite is the highlighter that I just spoke of, the Precious uh, Petals from Wet n Wild. Oh my goodness. I mean, again, like I'll show this, but I'll swatch it for you guys. If you haven't seen it, I mean, like it is a gorgeous highlight for it to even be drugstore. You know, I mean, the like drugstore really has stepped up the game. I picked the eyeshadow primer from Wet Mild, the Photo Focus. Those are my three favorite products that are new into the drugstore. Okay, over overrated product or fail for you. I do have three. It doesn't. You don't have to have a couple different ones. I did pick one that I felt was overrated. Now a lot of people love the one that I'm going to say that I felt was overrated and that's fine if it works for you and, and all that. It is just for me and I don't actually have it anymore. <laughs> I gave it away. It was the L'Oreal uh, Lanude, Lanudes palettes. The I only bought the one. I don't know about the other ones but the first one just was a total dud for me and I didn't even want to bother. And the other two products here, these are just products that didn't work for me. They're complete fails. I wouldn't recommend them myself. One is new in the Hard Candy. And Hard Candy is coming out with a lot of different products. This is the Hard Candy Prismatic Sheer Envy Highlighter. It's an iridescent pearl highlighter. You guys might have seen me share this in a video already and heard my thoughts. You can see, like, this is the problem I had. If you can see all that powder that just for me swatching all that powder that is one of the biggest reasons it is so powdery it kicks up a lot of powder but it has a lot of glitter particles in it I mean if you're gonna pick this one or this one I think most I know what they're gonna pick is that one there of course the other thing is I thought I was gonna have fun with this it was the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Blush, and this is in the shade Soft Peach. And I thought, oh, this sounds so pretty, and it does look pretty. It didn't stay on, and I even said it. I used powders or setting sprays and everything. And there's a little dab right there. And, uh, you know, it does look like it would be pretty, but oh my goodness. It, can you see, like, how... Like it does give it a little bit of a flush, but there's just nothing much really there. You could only pick one brand uh, from the drugstore to do a full face of makeup. What brand would that be? And that's question number four. That was easy hands down for me. I really come to like Maybelline a lot and I have a lot of Maybelline products. I actually have one of their eyeshadow palettes on right now that I just bought. Uh, this little, uh, the City Mini palette. The one that most people seem to be hyping up is the uh, Rooftop Bronzes, and that's what I have on my eyes. Love it. I really like the Fit Me Concealer. I love their lipsticks. I would recommend trying any of their uh, lipsticks. They have such a wide variety now. I could probably go on and on with a lot of their products. So Maybelline, I would do a full face with no problem whatsoever at all. Number five, a product that you like better than the higher end counterpart 
uh, basically like a dupe, like it's compared to uh, the higher end. That a little bit was hard for me at first, and I had to think on that. And then it hit me because I used it the other day and I used it again today. And it would actually be Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, Hydrating Tint. Now it does say tint on there, on this here. And it's one that has that doe foot applicator on it. Um, you just dab it along all over on your face. It has some hyaluronic acid in it. And the one that is compared to is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. And this is, you know, pretty well, uh, well loved on here. And it's not that I don't like it. You know, it has the doe foot applicator also. It gives definitely more full coverage the Clinique does compared to this one but for me it's the finish the finish of this one here outbeats this one here for me this gives me more of a natural look that I like I feel like I'm proning more towards I like the natural look even though I have problematic skin I still like the natural look and it probably has a lot to do with you know as I'm getting older this is a nice one I'm not saying it's not it's just I like this one better your tried and true product that you would repurchase over and over and it never fails you like it is the uh, bomb.com as a lot of people would say for me it would be the better skin superstay concealer from Maybelline or the fit me concealer between those two they never fail me they always work for me they would be repurchases over and over and over because you know, if I had to save money, I was in a pinch or anything like that, the price is right, the, the quality of them are, are, are there, uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer or the Better Skin one, either one of those. New to you brand that you like or you're most impressed with. Now, it can be a new, new drugstore brand that just came out and you're impressed with. It could be a brand that you never dived into and you have been now lately, so it's new to you. So it can be either way. I actually came up with another brand that's very popular in the UK and in Canada or just overseas, basically, and it's Bourgeois, the Bourgeois brand. And I really want to step out and try more products from them. This foundation here is a really, really nice foundation. This is the Healthy Mix, uh, Healthy Glow, Flawless Complexion, Hydrate Luminous uh, Foundation. The, I even got the Healthy Mix, um, the Healthy Mix Concealer, this concealer right here. And let me tell you what, this bugger here is very potent. A little goes a long way. You need the tiniest amount of this because if you don't watch, you're going to, it could give you a full coverage foundation look straight up. I can't find them. I have two liquid lipsticks and oh my goodness, if I, I wish I could find them because the peach one and then I have one that's kind of like a pinky red color and it's gorgeous and they are phenomenal and they stay, they like stain your lips even really great. Um, I wish I could find them. I looked everywhere. I don't know where I put them out, but I'm sure I'll find them later. If I do, hopefully I can share them with you. And then this here, my in-laws sent me this too. It's the Maxi Delight, the bronzer. If you can get any of the bourgeois bronzers, this is a really nice and this is going to last me a good while. I love the smell. I honestly don't know what the scent is that they put in this in their bronzers because I have two of their bronzers and I don't know what they put in it but oh my god I love smelling it. it there's something for me that I just I love it and this is a really nice bronzer and then there's the color and I really like bourgeois I they're a brand I want to step out into more so, okay the next one is which brand did you never like and you you just like never really liked it but now impresses you that's easy for me, very easy, because I thought right away, CoverGirl. CoverGirl for me, I never liked a lot of their products. I hate saying that because I'm in the CoverGirl Insider, but I never liked their products at first. But as time progressed, but again, as I showed you, the foundation, this foundation chain, like this is a great foundation from CoverGirl. Love it. Their lipsticks. I have a couple of the key 
I just have a few things here, so I'm, I'm not showing you everything I have because I've gotten quite a few things. But their lipsticks are right up there with me for the, even like the Maybelline. If you can get your hands on the, the Katie um, Perry line or any of the uh, lipsticks like the in these different casings, there's different colors. I love these little uh, lip lip lavas. And if you can get your hands on some of those, I have three different ones. I'm not sure where they're all at, but three different ones. And you just can take it and put it on as a topper on top of a lipstick. And it will give you just this beautiful uh, iridescence look. These pots here of these from the Katy Perry collection, say put them on just by themselves or as a base. You can use them even as a highlighter if you want to. I have both of them which one's more of a gold and one's more rose gold if you can get your hands on the eyeshadow sets that come like this in like a quad these are really really nice it's a little bit hard to get in there sometimes with your brush not gonna lie but the, this one's one of my favorites and these are really nice they almost remind me of the maybelline quads that is probably some of the best Maybelline eyeshadows, I think. This one's the Blooming Blushes one. Okay, which primer or skincare, because some people use their moisturizer or a moisturizer um, instead of a primer to, uh, to use as the base, the whole setup for the makeup look. So for me, a primer that I really like a lot is the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. This one here. Now, it to me almost seemed a lot like the Too Faced Hangover and it's the texture that I really felt that makes me feel like it feels like the Hangover from Too Faced and it is one of my favorite drugstore primers. I mean there is a lot of drugstore primers I like but this is one of one of, in one of my favorites and for like three four something you can't go wrong with that so I picked the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And lastly what is your uh, favorite makeup brushes and the drugstore brand. That was easy for me. Real Techniques. I really love the Real Techniques um, brushes. <laughs> what, what happened to that one? That's my blush brush. This is my blush brush. This is my powder brush I have here. And then this is the stippling brush. I do have a couple of their eyeshadow brushes. And I do have one other one, I don't know where it's at, but my expert brush that I use a lot of times for foundation. Yeah. Real Techniques, for me anyway, is one of my favorite drugstore brands out there for makeup brushes. All right, beauties, that is all the questions. I will put all of them down below. There's 10 of them. And if you do want to do the tag, like I said, you're more than welcome to. I'd love to see other people do it. So I want to say thank you to the real chicks, Carla and Cindy. Thank you for joining me. And I'm kind of interested to see what those two are going to share with us. And so I will put a link, like I said, down below to their video. So please do go and check them out. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would make me happy and I appreciate that very much. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can come and join me each week. I do put videos up as each week. Uh, don't have any time set frame right now. Uh, kind of got overly busy. So make sure you hit the bell that's next to the subscribe button because that bell will notify you by email to let you know of when my new videos are ready to watch and are uploaded. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the bell button. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.